Okay. That's really loud. Yeah, I said that before you started. That and you really, said that's fine. Really loud. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway. Welcome to Off The Stage. It's the show where we take musicians off the stage and into the pub to talk about the ins and outs of the music world. I'm James It's been Bellamy. 70 weeks and you always sound scripted. Oh, do you want to do it? Go on, you, you do it. See how you... See oh, how I you don't cope. like the pressure. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> no, it's on. Welcome to Off The Stage. My name is Connor Michael. This is James Berry. And together we have Nine Banks. <laughs> Did that. Nice. Tell you what, James. First time you haven't messed up the soundboard. Can I turn that down as well? I, know, I feel like we should roll reverse next time. Yeah, we should absolutely. Always good crack. Yeah, no. Hi guys. You, you do that Hi. really well. Hi. Um, so who are you? Me? So yeah, we are Nine Banks. We are a well, well, we are three of five of Nine Banks. Yeah. Uh, and I'm Jack. I'm lead vocals. I'll pass it on. My name's Scott. I play bass. My name's Lewis, and I play guitar. Okay. And how many banks have you robbed? Nine. <laughs> nine. Well, yeah. no, my question was: Is so it, it nine on. banks? Is in like you know? Capitalist properties, or is it nine banks? Is in like you know, like banks, hills, no. rivers. Yeah. Um, I think we try to distance, distance ourselves from the actual corporate banks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're not sponsored or anything. If that's no, the, the actual names from a uh, town in uh, North Yeah, it's like North 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 right. okay. It's called so Nine Banks, so we just. I think that's more of a woodsy story because yeah. they thought of the name. Uh, yeah, it basically is. There's, there's nothing else to say on that matter. Like it is exactly that. It is a little town north of Hexham. Basically, I wanted to call the band Belmont, but there's already a pop punk band called Belmont, so we couldn't yeah. have that. So uh, I think you just up. wanted something like to relate to the northeast. Yeah. yeah. So what cool. is your connection? Are you from there, or no. do you just drive past it one no. day? No, it was like I wanted a name from somewhere in the northeast. Okay, We're gonna so. eventually let it grow into something like you know when people are trying to work out what the 182 means in Blink-182. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People can just be like, what does Nine Banks mean? Just like, we'll just let people... Yeah, my yeah. next door neighbour only found out recently that it's actually got like a cottage in Nine Banks. What? Yeah. They were asking us like, How, what's that t-shirt with Nine Banks in the van? I was like, oh, I'm in the van. <laughs> they have got a cottage there. I was like, oh. Shameless plug. Okay. Buy a shameless plug. Much so. Much so. Just got the first question then. Uh, what are you drinking? Double vodka and, uh, and lemonade. And small water. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> equal, equal, like an equal, you know. Do you have to blur that out or something? Like, you can't. Yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to get monetized. <laughs> I'm drinking uh, double disarano and coke. I like that, nice. Uh, I'm drinking uh, Pepsi Max with a dash of lime in it. He doesn't oh. drink, he doesn't drink. Oh. I don't drink. So. He's, uh, he's something wrong with him. Man. It's alright, to be fair, I am driving and gigging after this, so I'm on the, on the, the Guinness clear. Dedicated. <laughs> Dedicated. Well, the I've got a. Oh, I've got a mystery drink, but it, it tastes. Like a or Honestly, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like someone's just melted a Solero and <laughs> added alcohol to it. That actually sounds really appealing. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's However, it looks like lovely. the pickle juice from downstairs. It does look yeah. like the juice from the pickle. But it's nice and hazy. I don't know. Um, yeah. it's got like I'd like to say mango. I also say mango with the fruity stuff, but or pineapple. Passion. Mm. Fruit. Passion fruit. Mm. That could be guava. Weird. <laughs> of the guava. Are we just naming exotic fruits? Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm just. I'm, I'm, James is just drinking till he tastes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the fruit really. Mm. I'm surprised you I, think that tastes more like guava before anything else. I don't even know what guava tastes like. I was just. I don't, even know what guava is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Like I just hear it sometimes, and it sounds fancy. Is, is, like, is it like tomato or fruit or vegetable? Fruit, fruit. Are we getting into this right <laughs> now? On a but podcast. bananas are a berry. That's really weird. Think wow. s- isn't, isn't strawberry a vegetable or banana? I'm sure something like that. Banana's a berry. Do you know what I mean? No, it's tomatoes, a fruit. Wait, the only people call bananas bananas. I think there's one other place, but everyone no, else calls it bananas. They call it bananas. Why are we... <laughs> this mean, is... <laughs> this mean, this has gone down, down a rabbit. I'm descending into, like, delirium hey. here. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> when you say we're the only people, do you mean, like, the North East or... I mean, like, the UK. No. I think there's one other place like where you're in English. Like but I think everywhere else, like me, Roman, your friend, nah, calls them anana, ananas. Is that uh, no, like no, a that's, language? It's pineapple. No, 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 that's right. No. Man, I swear it's pineapple. No. Oh, it is. It's you know ananas, what it is? I'm sure it's it is. Cause no. I- yeah, because ban- uh, anana is like yeah. pineapple, and exactly. that's why I got. Because I remember oh, going to Google now. <laughs> what am I searching? <laughs> pineapple in every other language. So, while we do that, what is this drink? You might as well tell uh, us. Peach a sour. Peach. Ah, oh, peach. Oh, One I missed out. Peach. peach. Mm. It's lovely though. Peach sour. How have we descended? Have to try it. Uh, five minutes. It's not good into stuff. The podcast. In Italian, oh, pineapple is ananas. In French, it's ananas. Oh yeah. This is pineapples. But you said banana. You said bananas. Yeah, bananas. Bananas. I, I did mean pineapple. Pi- oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In Spanish, did, it's I, pina. Yeah, yeah, I did to say before the podcast it's going to be a bit. Yeah. Yeah. The German is bananas. Yeah. Romanian is bananas. Yeah, Polish yeah, yeah. is bananas. Yeah. But what what do they call bananas? <sighs> oh, 
banana. Welcome to the fruit podcast. <laughs> Green grocers. Yeah, fruit ball. Like Fun it. with fruit. <laughs> sure, bananas just with nine bags. Banana. Oh, I just didn't go at that time. Oh, so oh. maybe they don't have bananas. We'll find it. I don't. No, the most. James, no- you take the podcast while I find out how to say bananas in <laughs> Polish. The most northern, um, northern country to grow bananas. Does anybody know? It's Portugal. Good. No. Like in the in, in the in actual like weather climate or in a Polish is in, in just in general. Norway. In uh, Iceland. Iceland. Because they use the uh, uh, they use the. The, the greenhouse they've got they've got like geothermal yeah. source that can, that can heat from the oh. ground going up and just like put a glass thing over it. Fair but they grow bananas. bananas apparently. Bananas. But is bananas. It, bananas. So it's like Iceland's the one. Oh. Iceland's the one that's full of grass, and Greenland's the one that's actually full of ice. Yeah. So yeah. Iceland. I mean, Iceland. It does get snowy, but the reason Greenland's called Greenland because it was a guy called Eric the Red. He got banished from Iceland. So he moved to Greenland when there was fuck all there. So he had to get people to come with him. So he's like, oh, I found this place called Greenland. Yeah. Just put yeah. in mint. So everyone went there and they thought, this isn't fucking... They got, they got, they got conned, basically. It was like yeah. the, the original scam. But they still call it Greenland to this day. I don't, don't know why. It's like, Good legacy. Good yeah. legacy. Yeah, back to the music. <laughs> Seven minutes in. <laughs> oh, this a music yeah, drink this way. Yeah. Um, so what kind of influences did you guys grow up to listen to? So... Me, I, I've literally got a plethora of influences because in my house it was just nothing but music, music, music. And then it's more like soul y kind of Motown stuff, is what my dad really listened to. And then, like, when I was about, God, when I was about 10, I got like a skater rock CD, and that just like got me straight down like the pop punk path. So, and then, like, I think more modern times, more influences is like more modern pop punk, like all time low kind of thing. That's, yeah. that's my kind of thing. A little bit all time low. Oh, that's 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 my main kind of focus from when I was really starting to get into pop punk. But I'm not as old school as probably Scott is because Scott will wax <laughs> lyrical about. Funnily enough, I don't actually know how I got into the genre because, like, uh, when I grew up, like my mom used to listen to like Clubland and like oh, yeah, techno, huh? like heavy, like that kind of stuff. Like um, and it was actually my stepdad he, uh, we were in his car one day and he had a CD Puddle of Mud and like <laughs> I listened to Puddle of Mud and um, change the world <laughs> and honestly I heard Blurry and like I was looking out the window and I was just like oh, this is my this is my villain arc <laughs> yeah. like this was it was so good and then and then I met a, a, a guy um, when I was in primary school uh, my best friend uh, Andy O'Brien and he was uh, like we used to hang out at his house and his brother was like like a couple of years older than us and he was in the prime of like pop punk and skate punk and stuff and like from his room like I heard like Blink 182 I think the first song I ever heard was like Dump Weed and I was just like oh, yeah. oh my god like it was like that meme where it's like what is this melody yeah. <laughs> and I was just like I was just hooked from then on I was like oh yeah let's get uh, let's get this on the go and funnily enough I never actually touched an instrument until I was like 16 I think but yeah. I just heavily loved Blink 182 and I mean like I've got a tattoo and oh, everything sweet. like mm. massive influence so yeah Blink 182 is my biggest influence but um it's expanded a lot since then. I'm getting to like stuff I never really expected. Like Bring Me the Horizons, like probably my second favorite band, and I used to hate them when I was younger. And oh. I think it just evolved into like appreciation for music as I got older. Yeah. I stopped being yeah. like, if it's not Blink, I don't want to listen to it. And yeah. that's why I've been like, yeah, let's Get, try something different. Broaden your horizons a little. Bit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was. I was. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, that wasn't even meant to be. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't even meant to be a uh, thingy. But I, I'm, I'm a big Blinky like. Mm. Mm. Is that what you call the fans? Blinkies? Sure. I don't think they've ever called them. I think they've had quite a few names which are, it definitely won't get yeah. aired. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not really into them anymore. I'm getting forced to go to, to the show in Manchester. I'll take your very, tickets. Very soon, like, so. I, couldn't, I, I went to I see them in Glasgow and I got cancelled. <laughs> oh, no way. I, oh, I had VIP tickets. Shit. I had, like, why, uh, why did it get cancelled? Travis, uh, Travis Barker's wife. Um, <sighs> Uh, Courtney Kardashian. Kardashian. Yeah. No idea. She, uh, they had to have, um, the baby had to have surgery. Oh, right. But uh, obviously, she's like Sorry. quite late uh, in in that term, so it was life threatening. Um, so understandably, had to like yeah, go home. Which fair enough. Then. I mean, I, at the time when you heard the gig was cancelled, I was like, "This is unacceptable. There's nothing yeah. I can." And then I seen it, and I was like, oh, that, that, "That's acceptable, yeah." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, they said they're coming back. Otherwise, well, I want my four hundred pound back. Well, I mean, four hundred quid is how much it cost. Oh, Do not air that. Blinkers. Who doesn't Blinkers. know that you spent 400 quid? Blinkers? Blinkers? Is that what you Google? I'm not associated with it. What's your influences there? Um, 
I think I was probably the late one, the pop punk. Like, I think I got into pop punk off American Pie, then off oh, Colin, yeah. Colin Cowie in like, Newcastle Music College. But I love loads of stuff. Mark Knopfler, Blues. Uh, I'm not a light into all sorts of stuff. Um, like The Who, you know what I mean? Eagles. I look, it's the kind of stuff I like. It's yeah. the kind of stuff I was. Um, I got into after because I got mainly into like music like um, Linkin Park Blink 182 mm-hmm. uh, Offspring that's what got me into music first but yeah. then it, then I, I grew from there the likes like the Eagles like all the classic yeah, rock yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. Bob Dylan specifically mm. um, my, my influences I mean not that anybody asked but like, that's uh, <laughs> did. what's your influences yeah, yeah. what inspires you <laughs> that my, mine's always a mix between that like the folk and the Mm. Pop punk. I think it's best though if you, especially if you're a musician, like it's best yeah. to know a lot of different genres. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It yeah. musically. It does because you, because you, yeah. you, you, you add something, like so. If you're like you're pop punk. You, you'll, you'll get, you'll get like influence from yeah. somewhere else that no other pop punk oh. person has. Mm-hmm. It'll give your Definitely. music that little extra yeah. um, variety. Something, something it's a little like bit if different. You, if you learn blues, you move on like pentonic scales and kind yeah. of stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. that's it. I, like, and, yeah. I also find that like the more influences you have, like. Uh, I mean, I, I don't write the songs in like Nine Banks, but when like I've written songs in the past, none of my music comes out like happy go lucky pop punk. Mm. Yeah. It's always kind of like, kind of sad, like dark year kind of stuff. Yeah. And like, it's, mm-hmm. I don't even know what to explain it as, but it's, it's, it's a lot heavier. It's something that like, the music I write is probably something I would never actually yeah. listen to yeah. if I had <laughs> my own choice. Like, oh. See, like, I think, yeah, well, I see being in a house where just music was like life for all, like all of my childhood. Like my dad's, my dad was in quite not, a not like, but his dad's, his dad's a bit famous. <sighs> My dad was in a band called The King Gang, who uh, oh, were right. very big in the 1980s. Just, I don't want to say that. <laughs> uh, they were on Top of the Pops and everything, so they were, oh, they were quite, I don't want to tell you, but they were like, Top of the Pops. <laughs> what, what, was their, what was their hit? <laughs> what was that? What was their hit? Closest Thing to Heaven was their hit. Um, do I know that one? Uh, Closest Thing to Heaven? You might do if you've heard it. It was... I, I, I'm, I'm not going to ask you to sing it, but I, I, would, I would usually ask um, it. But yeah, so like, <laughs> music was just like massive in my yeah. in my family, in my household. So I had like loads of just everything when I was little. I think it was the opposite to you, where I kind of like I was massively broadened, then I kind of went down a little bit. Uh, I kind of went the other way and went like a bit more focused from like from all of this stuff that was going on. But like stuff in my house where it's like Japanese city pop that and uh, like, stuff like that that you just would never even thought of, and it's. But I think my kind of songwriting's it is quite happy where Scott says his his is quite dark. Yeah. But I think now in Nine Banks we are starting to like because Scott was one of the newer members of the band, we are starting to kind of blend mm. that two those two together because I am a bit too over the top you're happy with yeah. little pop punk. Whereas I think yeah. now we are starting our new stuff is starting to kind of come back a little bit and yeah. be a bit more moody kind of thing mm. so we are developing a bit a more realism of life maybe I don't know yeah yeah but yeah that was but my kind of songwriting kind of technique is that it's a bit weird I don't know a lot of people that do it but I don't write about personal experiences no like I write there's like a lo- pretty well 90% of our songs are written about fictional people and yeah, fictional it's story places driven. and yeah, stories it's not it's not a real person. It's not even really based on a real person. It'd be like, what is this situation? That would be sick to well, write. It makes about. a song interesting though, because yeah, exactly. it, it, it gives, keeps people kind of. Because um, I mean, I, I write a lot of stories. Mm. Um, I, I could never write like short stories or a book or anything because mm. I've got such a short attention span. But I like writing yeah. stories in, mm-hmm. in songs. I think it's a really good way to. Because mm-hmm. there's only so much flipping emotions one person can go through. Mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it, it does, if, you, if you've got the, the habit of kind of writing something that's a little bit different and, and out there, with like uh, a, a, like a made-up scenario, you can, you can come up with loads of kind yeah. of different styles of, of, of song. I think our main one, our latest song that we've just gone into the studio to record, is like, is basically one big story. Uh, it's called What Daisy Did, and that'll be the next one we're going to release. But it is just like a big story, isn't it? Like the song you is. You can kind just, of like make your own kind of yeah. story in it, though. Mm, it's yeah. not like distinctly saying, should have done this, should have done yeah. that. Yeah. It kind of, oh, like, like, kind of leaves your own thing. Yeah, yeah, it kind of leaves you hanging for like, what, what did she do? And you have to kind of make your own assumptions of oh. what's gone on. And it's, I kind of like that narrative that we've hit with that song. Like, I really, really I think like it's that. like a, it's a, it's a thing you can relate to in the sense of like, um, have you ever got that one friend where like someone will say something and you're just like, Again, like yeah, like the the one friend who's always kind of getting into either 
trouble situations or like just acting like you know a dick yeah <laughs> I'm trying to watch my language yeah. I don't know what I can get away with you say the sweat yeah. Yeah. You know, the, odd, the odd ones are right yeah but uh, yeah, the, yeah. I, th- I think it's it, it helps in that regard if you can really like, relate to like certain aspects of it uh, uh, makes it a bit more appealing yeah, that's, that's cool so just on the song uh, side of things what would you say the most personal song you guys have whether it's the same song for each other if you've all got one that you've got like an emotional attachment to or hmm. should we say all three at the same time because I think we're all going to say the same answer right right three, three two one bliss, bliss. Oh, oh that's that's, you know what? Yeah. I was, was going to say a different one just to be a dick. I'm sure, there was, I'm sure there was a band who tried that and like they all said something completely yeah. different. Yeah. <laughs> they were all fair, on the same page. I'm, I'm torn between two for two different reasons. Okay. Yeah. It's like so we have a song called uh, Bliss, which is like a beautifully written song. Like I love it. I, I think it's really nice. Um, like it's it's a bit different to uh, what we've currently got. Yeah. It's, it starts off a bit slow and then like builds up to it. Like um, it's not just straight in there. Like da 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 da. Um, so I love that for that sense but then we also have Trophy Guy yeah. and Trophy Guy is close to my heart because it does remind me of like the first time I heard Blink 182 mm-hmm. like it's just that straightforward like it's yeah. just a song you can kind of scream along to and be like I don't know what like you could go on stage and just not sing any lyrics and people would just be jumping all over going that was yeah. a pretty good song Yeah, I- it's, it's always like a it's a hype builder I call it yeah. every time we play it I'm like if we play this it'll get people hyped straight away yeah. if we play a sad song and it didn't go down too well uh, guy. Yeah, that's gets the energy. We battery. build it in our set, don't we? Yeah, Usually, like I will admit, it's not my favorite. Like I wouldn't say that I hate it. It's something that I have written, but it's it's one that like it, it does bring the energy up in the set. Mm. So we always tend to do it because we always have like a, we always have we always build our sets properly, and we always think about what what placement of songs we don't just go willy nilly. Oh. So like we always break it down to have a like a slower part, which Bliss, the song that we were talking about, is very much a slow song which yeah. builds into quite an anthemic song so that's a great song to put in the middle and then we put yeah. Trophy Guy afterwards to build the energy back up mm. to like yeah, go towards the sense. end of the show because instead of just doing like the high low high it's kind of like you start off high bring it down a bit but Bliss is a mixture because it starts off in the low end and then it ends just kind of like back yeah. to the energy and you're like oh we're back to it's like a punk rock show and I'm not at like the yeah, funeral yeah <laughs> yeah but I think <laughs> Bliss, Bliss is the only song that that is written kind of like from a real from a about a real person really and from my perspective that's like the only one in the yeah. set that is like loosely so I think we're like we love it that much we're like we're holding it back so we're not we're going in the studio or anything because we want to wait till the point where we can get a hundred percent that'll be the, the song, song that makes us break up yeah because we'll not agree on how good yeah. it'll sound and everyone will be like nah you, have to, um, you, you could release like Three different or five different versions of yeah. five different versions of it, and then get people to vote yeah. on which one they like the best. You do like Jack's Does version, like Scott mm-hmm. version, yeah. Taylor's yeah. version. Yeah, Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> there you go. You get get people. To vote. Then it's democracy. Then yeah. so it's always like, well, he, that's that's the best one. Democracy. But, uh, Prefab Sprout used to play like. <laughs> Your um, hand Paddy Sprout had like <laughs> ten versions of Goodbye Lucille or something. Me dad was telling me so. It, you always pick the yeah. pick the best one. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think Louis was saying like we, when we've got Bliss. It is literally so close to us, and we're just like it needs to be done right, and it needs to be done at the right budget. So if we, if like, we, because uh, like, we keep, we keep like the start, we keep like changing our mind, like oh, like I think there should be piano in the start, mm. and he's like, he's like, there should be a bit of violin in there, and then like, I'm like, yeah. oh, should we speed the start up? Like, so it's just like, uh, which is funny because when we play live, we don't have a keyboard or violin. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> well, backing tracks is another step. Build the backing back yeah, tracks, so. that's cool. Yeah, cool. No, that's good yeah. um, we'll get to a short break and we'll get back with part two with a few Instagram questions and Tosh bit of banter oh, why I <laughs> see you in a bit that's a better volume that's a turn down we're back baby <laughs> welcome back to Off the Stage my name's Connor Michael this is James oh, Berry how are you doing it now I'm and we're here with Nine Banks I quite like it when you do it actually puts the pressure off me a little bit yeah cool um, so yeah we're going to fire into a couple of questions uh, to any viewers watching please follow us at off the stage uk every week we put a little question poll on our stories for the musicians so if you want to ask our guests a question tell us and we'll ask it um at mrs berry insta says is there any artists uh, you love that hold on any artists you love that people would be surprised to know that you like if anyone thinks someone looks at you and goes you don't like them 
Is this individually or like as a band kind of thing? Or? Just, I've already said individually. Mark Knopfler. Stuff that they wouldn't expect. Um, That's good. It's like guilty Billy pleasure totally. Don't you like Billy Strings? Like Billy Strings. Billy yeah. Strings. Uh, mm-hmm. it was Billy Strings. Guilty pleasures. Anything from like. Honestly, if I wasn't in a pop punk band, I would be in an '80s tribute band. Yeah. Yeah. I love like Phil mm. Collins, like all that kind of stuff, like yeah. like Easy Lover and stuff like that. Like, oh, it's, oh, it's, like, it's a tune yeah. and like a yeah. can't can't hurry love. Like, if I wasn't in a pop punk band, I would definitely be in an '80s tribute band. Just you cause. know what you could do. I reckon that would be so fun as well because mm. you'd have all like the, the proper cool cheesy glasses yeah. and like all yeah. the colourful kind of like oh, I'd be bomber on there, jackets dressed like Elton John and everything. Mate. Why I'd just, yeah. Freddie I'd, Mercury, I'd, different the, different costume every night. The, key, the keyboard guitar, just yeah. like guitar. <laughs> yeah, just the just the guitar. Guitar. <laughs> like oh, oh so good, man, so good. Minor are like stuff like Marvin Gaye. John Mayer, like, like John yeah, Mayer, John no, Mayer, maybe yeah. Ramstein. I think he's modern, and everyone kind of likes John Mayer. So he loves it. One of my massive guilty pleasures is uh, a band called Yellow Magic Orchestra, who oh, are nice. um, like they're pioneers of electronic music. They're from Japan. Oh. There's a guy called Ryuji Sakamoto, who was the main guy in that band, and they basically pioneered electronic like dance music from the oh, 80s. Really, oh, absolutely oh, brilliant band. So like. Um, <laughs> Very, they were very similar vein to craft work. Yeah, so, I was gonna say. I was, yeah, but I Yellow Magic were really yeah. yeah. kind of that one, and they're my they're my guilty pleasure, and like nobody even knows about them. No, I don't even know who they are. So, do you oh, all have yeah. Spotify? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. When it comes to the Spotify wrapped up this year, do you reckon your guilty pleasures are going to be at the top of the list, or the ones people expect you to listen to is going to be top of the list? I am telling you now, I will be in the zero point zero 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 one percent for Blink One Eighty Two's new album because I've done nothing but listen to that. So, the, those three songs. On repeat. On repeat since they came out. Yeah. Like I, I, I wish I could actually see the counter already because it's all I've listened to. <laughs> I just yeah. to the point I know how to play them. I know how to, I know all the lyrics. I, so I get amazing. <laughs> I'm a proper like I'm a proper like outlier when it comes to stuff because I hardly listen to music. Oh yeah. So I kind of like, get that. Like I've got talk sport on in yeah. podcasts because I've I've done nothing but gig. I just yeah. want to like put yeah. music aside for like, a bit. When I come home, that's when I like when I come home from work. That's when I play music myself, and I kind of just I don't really <laughs> listen to music in the car or anything like that. But even if I do, I've got Apple Music. You don't listen to music in the car. You've got to listen to music in the car. He drove all the way to Cardiff with no radio or anything. I just sit oh. there and listen to them. I can do it with a podcast, but I couldn't do it in radio. I silence. do it completely oh, silent. Oh, no. uh, like, I drove to Germany. You've got to listen to a song in the car. Like if I've got twenty minute journey to make. It's ten minutes when I've got music on. Yeah, for legal yeah. reasons, that's a joke. But like, <laughs> it, it, you know, so certain music, like you just, I can't. Yeah, there. it's him. It's ah. just a, it's just a mad one because like, I tell everyone, it's like, oh, you, you're in band and all this. How do you not listen to music? Me dad is the biggest critic, crit, uh, has the biggest, biggest criticism for that because he's just criticism. like, he's just like, you don't listen to music, and I'm like, no. <laughs> you know, I, I, like, it's such a weird one. But like I say, I don't. But I kind of do. But it's not like. Where it's a big integral part of like a lot of people's lives, oh, where yeah. they sit and listen, I just don't do that, and it's a weird one. I can't wait until he writes a song I don't like, so I can be like, do you know, when you said you don't listen to music, I can tell. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out there now. See, like, all it's coming songs. out. What? <laughs> Every single one. Yeah. I'm kind of kind of opposite because I'm like a lorry driver, so I just like sit behind with me like Spotify mm. on all day. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I'd I'd love to do that, but I'd hate like I'm. I'd hate to try and find like parking spaces and get in. That, that, that must be like the worst. That I'd just get that. That stress me out too much. Okay. On the road, I'll be absolutely. I'll be absolutely. People deserve all the easy reverse lorries. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, when you develop the mentality that you just don't care anymore, it's a lot easier. <laughs> Pedestrians. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you cut everyone up on the motorway. Is that the, is that the thing? I've seen someone reverse one of their massive spa lorries down a uh, back street in Pallion today, and I was like, yeah. what? Give this man like, an yeah, OBE. Yeah, literally get knighted. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Nah, that, that I couldn't do that. Like, <laughs> although, like I say, I could. I'd be more than happy to go down, the, like the, the the highway for like five hours, five six hours, just. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe we can do the podcast in me in me lobby while I'm driving down. Oh, that's a good yeah. idea. Oh. But I would switch places once we get to the city. Oh, off off the stage, do like a, do a side one called on the road. I think. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, off, off the off the stage and on the road. Right. <laughs> Louis, I think that's hey. that's a podcast idea for now, man. Because that works stainless. Uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you wouldn't join Louis at work. You wouldn't be the first guest to steal a podcast. Idea, like, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so do you reckon your Spotify wrapped up will be one we expect or one we wouldn't um, probably not you know what I, I, I listen to a lot of songs that I never I'd never heard of before I like to kind of like discover I don't like I'm honestly like 
there's some songs that I absolutely love I've got like specific playlists and stuff like that but a lot of the time I just kind of like um, I'll, I'll find a song that I like and I'll press I'll play it and then I'll just kind of I'll not cue anything else so just Spotify decides mm. what song mm. is going to mm. be listening it's something, you get some quite cool uh, I've, I've discovered loads of, loads of little bands yeah. little I usually bands find I get stuck in a like a music kind of rut for a while yeah, yeah. that's so it. like if I went on my Spotify now and looked at the last five bands I've listened to they will be the top five in my rap because I, I, I have like a it's yeah. almost like comfort. I just, it's, yeah, I, I know just the know. music, I'll just fling that on. Uh, and, yeah. But yeah, the last, the, whoever the last five bands are that I've added to my playlist will be who's on my rap, 100%. Yeah. yeah. And I'll I mean, be like top like 0-1% because I just, <laughs> there's nothing but that. I mean, Mountain Goat would be probably my my top one. Yeah, Mountain Goat. I think Mountain Goat's a oh, cool band, yeah. And see the social, the, honestly, that just listen to like All, all Hail West Texas. He, basically, he recorded it. Um, in a little cupboard where we used to work it's like really quietly like with a shitty recorder and he just put it on a tape and just sent it to a bunch of um, record labels and they're like I really fucking like this let's record really? a pop he's like no no just, just that sounds that. like Mac DeMarco <laughs> no, so, it's, that, so it's just it's just it's the worst quality recordings you'll ever see ever hear you in your life but they're also like some of the best songs you'll also ever hear I love when life. you hear like really like raw kind of stuff like that though uh, as well I mean like I, when you hear like old, like bands that you like, when you hear their old tracks, yeah, like Fly Swatter was recorded on one of those like uh, little record things, yeah. things in the middle of yeah. a room, the it's drum kit, like it's right next to the drum kit, and you can just hear like yeah, but sudden bass pedal raw, but it sounds yeah, it sounds cool, like, like it does. Another main influence, like well, influence, but a person I actually like, Mac DeMarco, he did that in his first album. He just literally had a tape recorder and his guitar, yeah, and just um, just recorded it. But the he has, like, yeah, the songs are good, yeah. Like you, you will get just it. sound, but he his kind of vibe it sounds perfect with what he does, yeah. and, and he has this like horrendous guitar that he's modified to hell, and he's just like got chips of wood out of it where he's mounted oh, the pickup or what the wrong way, and it was like. The story of his guitar is he bought it in like a pawn shop for like ten dollars, and it's just the one he uses like religiously, even oh, though yeah. he's like a Fender like artist and stuff. Then he just cool. still uses that guitar because he says it has this like tone. I like when instruments it. tell like stories. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's yeah. cool. I break mm. mine every two weeks. Yeah, you've got you've, you've got a hole in the newest one yet. Uh, it's split the other week. Yeah. Oh, yeah my, my instrument's got a couple of oh, stories. Oh, like, that's, that's, that's a stump box is broken because yeah. I stood well, on it. Well, you can bridge it. I'm a little broken it because I stood on it. Yeah. Well, you can bridge the story. It's a good yeah, story I've, for I've the got, podcast. I'm marking the back of my strap now because, oh god, how do I? How oh, come do I, on. How do I? Do you want me to tell it? Story into a small bite size. Shall I tell it? You're worried, aren't you? Uh, uh, no, but I'm not worried. Terrified. So do you mind if I tell the PG version? My van door stopped working properly and it didn't shut. So I, I, like after a gig, I was like really concentrated with my neighbours. I'm like, I'm not going to unload my gear at this time. We'll wake my neighbours up. You know? Oh yeah, the I left my stuff yeah. in the van. And next year, next like about maybe five days later, no, sorry, a couple of days later, I uh, realised that two of my guitars had went. So my t- my two thousand oh, yeah, pounds strap had gone, and my uh, my no. acoustic over there, my Taylor. So there's got stories. So yeah, you, that, you've that. already told. Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. let's yeah, hear yeah. how you got this back. <laughs> right. So I went, I went. I went. I just went on all the Facebook pages and everything around my area. And apparently, like it was a common thing. These these uh, what's what called? Scallywags. Rap scallywags. Rap scallions. Scallies. Right. Uh, yeah. They've been they've been on the pinch in the area and all this. And then apparently, this this guy got his tools and it had a tracker in it. Went back to his house. So he went to the police. Police wouldn't do anything. So he gave the information to me, uh, and basically I went down, like knocked on his door, and like confronted him, and just and like I got them back. No way. Yeah, yeah. I was very, I was like distraught. I was they were gone for like three weeks. Yeah. And I God, was so what, what did he say? Like, he was, he was so he was gonna put them on the on his wall. He's gonna try and sell them on the power of social to, media. He tried, he tried to sell you them back, didn't he? For yeah. like the thing is though. Yeah, like, do you know what he said, man? If, he says I'll give, uh, I'll sell them back for a thousand pound. I was like. What? No, you fucking won't. <laughs> no, you won't. It's the no. thing, though. I mean, you must have thought, like, now you now you know where he lives. It's yeah, like exactly it's, well. it's game over, isn't it? It's yeah. like exactly, well. what a dick. That's Honestly, the the power of social yeah, media. Or is it? Address of a. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is where we should Sign have like the Patreon. Yeah, we, we should have like. Not, I mean, we, we joked about having an OnlyFans for that, but like have a Patreon for like find out where like this guy's yeah. addresses and like. Yeah. I yeah. guarantee one of your viewers will have had some stolen from him in the area. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I swear though. No. So right, it's like so. for, for like ten pound a month. We'll uh, <laughs> we'll give you a mob, address. A mob of assault room mafia. mafia. <laughs> <laughs> it took me so long to like make my base that I drill like because of like the story that he's kind of got underneath my pickup, like because like I've modified mine and yeah. it's got a hole which is the exact size of an AirPod, uh, an AirTag. 
Oh, right. So the plan was I was going to put an air tag in it, but I've never got around to actually buying an oh, air tag nice. yet. This so. is where the air but tag yeah. fries you pick up because the magnet in it. It's not close. Completely. So it's like <laughs> my base was a jazz base, but I converted it into like a Mark Hopper style P base. Oh, so cool. that empty pickup is where the hole is. He loves blinking. Really? If you didn't yeah. know what, what was your opinion Haven. on um, on the the the, the Skiba years? Matt Skiba. Um, honestly, right? It's it's absolutely brilliant for what it was like yeah that's what the thing I is say, like. with Blink like Matt Skiba kept it alive and like I was, I'm a massive fan of Alkaline Trio as yeah, well I love so the fact that they brought Matt Skiba in don't get me wrong I was sceptical at first but obviously I was just heartbroken that Tom left yeah don't do it again <laughs> um, and like um, yeah so like w- they came and like they released like the songs and stuff and I was like this is actually amazing like I remember like yeah. when Cal- like, when California came out I, love, I was like I this is so good like it was an amazing album and um, and like I actually bought it on vinyl because I was like it's 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 really good like yeah. I loved it and then when Nine came out I was blown away like it was just so good but one thing I will say is it it it, it didn't feel like Blink yeah it was but missing. I still loved it but for what it was it was almost like, it's like they had Boxcar Racer yeah, and, Boxcar say, Four, and then they had like Blink that. with Matt Skiba yeah and like I love Matt Skiba and I think he did an absolutely amazing job I've seen people slating him online and giving him you know so what? much grief the, because now, it wasn't Tom now they're going actually no it wasn't actually that yeah, bad it's like they've ah, all turned they... around and went oh yeah. like thank you Matt Skiba yeah. it's like well at the time everyone uh-huh. was slating him I've seen them three times and once was with Skiba uh-huh. and he was amazing he was so good yeah. live I love honestly I love Matt yeah. Skiba I think he's fucking mad yeah, but yeah that, I think that's, that's that's the consensus like it wasn't quite the same but it was yeah. still it was still good you know what I mean like, at the gig I think you could feel it as well of like the obviously everyone was waiting for like the where are you yeah, and, and like you just yeah, it wasn't and there. He, it's not the but the thing was, it? what was quite good as well is he didn't try to imitate Tom. Yeah, he was. He did. Yeah. He put his own spin on it, and yeah. it worked really well. Um, but yeah, I miss Tom DeLonge now. Yeah. Angels and Airwaves. I did. I love Angels and Airwaves. Anything that Blink made, I love it. Movies, whatever. I don't care. Even if it's crap, I'll just say it's good. Unless, unless it's Machine Gun Kelly. This is why I believe aliens exist now. I'm like, yeah. I, I think it is. I'm like, you're right all along. Tom. Yeah, I've always believed in aliens, to be fair. Yeah. But, like, this is a. Uh, yeah. You're the guy, you're you're the guy who turns up with a gig with a big, like, <laughs> sound boy, guess what I'm going to you, Tom, on Seven of yeah. yeah. attention. <laughs> I'm going to buy one of those t shirts. He, he actually started, so, like, To the Stars Academy, his business, he's, he started selling t shirts that says Tom was right. Yeah, Tom was like, Tom was yeah. But Mark's going to sell some that says, no, he wasn't. Sorry, did you see that Mexican thing? With the aliens. Well, apparently, it's a bunch of um, oh, yeah. animals clobbered together. They mush them. Like. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they've just, they've just. I think, I think the tourist boards just kind of like got on the bandwagon of like, oh yeah, the NASA's saying like, oh yeah, yeah there's, there's like these unidentified things. Let's make an alien. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Like, like not the last thing just at all. Like, yeah. Means away from people. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. apparently that's what the DNA is like saying. It's like, there's a bit of a monkey in there. There's, there's, oh, a, yeah. bit of there's a bit of chimpanzee. It's like, just a person <laughs> pulling that. Yeah, they've just, <laughs> they've just, they've just clumped loads of fucking things. So it looks like an alien. There must have been someone with absolutely no soul making that, d- making like, that though. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like, you're a, random you're a six it's, that's for Mexico. Peter Assignment. Playing God. Um... The last so. guest we've had in here was um, Pretty Velvet. Pretty Velvet. And uh, they've got some questions for you guys. Right. Mm. Oh, the pressure's on. Pretty pretty pressure velvet. is on. The first question's a big one. Uh, who's got the fittest mom? Um, I haven't actually met any of you, mother. Oh, wait, no, I've met your mom. Um, cool. hmm. Who's got the fittest mom? <laughs> Where's the circle going on? <laughs> <laughs> who's got the fittest mom? Where the? She's not to be out oh, with ben, you guys. Ben. There is. Oh, yeah. Ben's mom. Should be watching no them. comment. <laughs> Ben's mum is a very attractive lady. <laughs> Ben's mum. I also love Ben's no dad. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, Ben. Ben. Yeah. Ben's mum's very. Cover all bases. Ben's yeah, mum has got it going on. Yes, she That's has. That's a cover and a half. Yeah. That is. Yeah, yeah. It is a cover and a half. But yeah, no, Ben's Ben's mum's lovely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, chopped potatoes. <laughs> you said that potatoes way too quickly there. Like, I see what you are for them. Sounds like a guy who's been eating jack potatoes for the last few years. Anything potatoes. What you do? Just no thought in that. Just like, yep, that's the one. One food. Just no filling. Raw. Just, for the spoon. For the spoon. <laughs> Turkey Twizzlers, but back in the 2000s. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, that's a before one. Jamie Oliver ruined them. Yeah, have, you, have you ever made your own Turkey Twizzlers? No, but Do I'm they, intrigued. Yeah, but are they the same, though? They're not like, the same. They're not the same. same. Just, Hopefully not. You can't taste the that, chemical in it. Like, is this how we make aliens? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Louis, the, the, 
the key question here is what do you have on your jack of potato? Oh, me? Oh, oh just cheese, me. Like, cheese. I thought you were about to say plain. Le- just a le- plain le- no, no, potato. No. <laughs> le- pack, bit of cheese, maybe a bit of. I've got, I've got a bit like. I've got a bit posh these days, a bit of Philadelphia in there. Yeah. Yeah. A bit of spring on you. I hate how I keep wanting to get off track on things, but they keep saying jack of potato. Chives, chives uh, scrambled on top. Well, like, the uh, place I work, obviously, salt like. Salt bit. All the, all the chive compost bit. that they have like, heap up in the corner. <laughs> they had loads of steam coming off it. And I was like, what's that? And they're like, oh, yeah, well, when you put all the grass together, it gets hot. And I'm like, how hot? And they're like, well, you can put a potato in and cook it. And I was like, well, that's not real true. So I turned up to work with a potato in a tin foil and I put it in, and sure enough, it was cooked. Mum's paper? No, I, d- I don't know. I took it out of my nana's cupboard. Be a wow. Paper. Sorry, nana. <laughs> <laughs> just took it out. And I, I like, you answered. Uh, Costco hot dogs. That's a shout. Yeah. Costco a hot dogs, Mark's right? Uh, you, right? You also get, get a free them. drink with it as well, so you know, kill two birds one stuff. Right. Buy a Costco hot dog. Get it in the tin foil, but leave it. No. Right. Wait until you get back to your car. When that's soggy, no. Best slaps. one. No. Right. Best one. You, you just. I'm just, just, just hear me out here, right? Beautiful. So you I get a Costco hot dog. You never had a Costco hot dog. You take the hot dog no? out. Oh, sorry. You take the hot dog out. <laughs> you get. I'm telling you something that's going to change your world, here, Maybe right? Not. You get the Costco hot dog. You get a um like a bacon and uh, cheese uh, bake. The, the chicken bake with bacon and cheese. We're moving away from And the then you put the hot dog, you rip the top of the chicken and cheese bake, and you put the hot dog in it, and you eat it. It's the best thing you'll ever do in your whole entire life. How did you come across that? Uh, some person told me about it. It was like Family Guy, do you want to crash into each other? <laughs> you've got got he was like, you've just put your hot dog inside me. <laughs> a friend told me about it, and uh, a friend told me about it, and it has changed my world legitimately. <laughs> I feel a better person for knowing this, and uh, oh, but then there's me balls from IKEA. Well, I was gonna say, oh, is this? Is yeah, the, is the, I was gonna. Yeah, so I was gonna ask the Costco hot dogs. Are they like the the English equivalent of the Swedish meatballs from IKEA? Yes, oh, it's gotta be then. Like, yeah. Only, yeah, but they're how, only how much? Are, they're only one fifty for a huge hot dog and a drink. That's really good. And it's that's refillable. The as pizza that. from Costco is nice. Well. Well, yeah, you've got to have like a fucking van to buy it it's eighteen inches. Man, that is, is a good show. I'll have to get myself to Costco. I don't I like it. You have to, uh, you have to have reg- a legitimate business. No, you, you can probably do it as your podcast. podcast. Yeah, that's that's it. It. We're oh, this podcast. Oh, can we, can we register a podcast? Yeah, yeah. You can just walk in and get one. Isn't it? They don't even check. You go on company's house and just register as like a business. I mean, you can... They don't even check it. You can just walk in and get one. We're technically registered as a business. Technically, my self-employees, Conor Michael, is a business. Is it? There you go. Oh, that it's, you it's why I had to pay tax every year. <laughs> <laughs> no, but did you did you think it was like a public limited company, or did you put us just self employed? Self employed, but it's still as long as you've got um, like business insurance and stuff like that. Welcome to Happy Business One Hundred and One. Today we're oh, trying to exploit Costco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How to get a Costco membership? I'm sure. Is I well. keep meaning to get one because the the diesel prices are so much cheaper. Well, I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so much cheaper. It's like one thirty a liter. Yeah. I'm, I'm to get a Costco. Like one seventy. Yeah. 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 We're not sponsored, but if you want to, I mean, like, <laughs> can we have a Costco hot dogs on stage? Might take the wagon down. I'm going to have to get myself a Costco card then if you can mm. be self-employed and mm, there you go. I'm going to take a look at that I'll yeah. look at it in further detail ok we'll, 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 we'll check it out after the, the we'll podcast we'll stores like Matt Rose are also available final question to get through this. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot about uh, this I forgot about the podcast <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> would you prefer to be stuck in Antarctica with no clothes on and feel like you're freezing to death or be fully clothed in the Sahara and you feel the heat in both scenarios, you don't die. You just feel oh, like you, right. you, you're on the you're on the brink. How statistic is this bad? Like? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy a ticket to your next show and be like, "What's wrong with you?" <laughs> I'm going to take questions from the audience. Take Ben's mom as well. Yeah. <laughs> as me did. Um, no, uh, I want to say the cold one because I hate it. being hot because yeah. I'm big and it makes me sweaty and I don't like that. Cold, cold all the way. I think I. I don't know. I think cold actually. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna go with the cold. Yeah. I'm gonna go so cold. unanimous because I, I I said cold as well. Yeah. Definitely, definitely definitely definitely. The heat just gives you like the really uncomfortable kind of. It's when you get itchy yeah. with the heat. Yeah. 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 That's it. Especially yeah. if you wear like a snowsuit, which I'm guessing that's what the question. No, you've got to no, naked. Naked. Does it naked? naked? I thought it said clothes. No. I know the Sahara. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow, that is really interesting. Yeah. Clothed in the Sahara. Thanks. Any boxer shorts on? No. Bollock naked. Bollock naked. Mm. I'd still I, do. I'd still go to Antarctica. Like, yeah. yeah. It's Antarctica yeah. any day. Nice weather as well. Just, uh, yeah, you've seen Northern we Lights. Just, we well, get eaten by a polar bear within like... But I was going to say, well, like, well, 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 I said I'd, um, <laughs> I'd be 
I'd, I'd make friends with the penguins. And oh, I'd, um, yes. Because oh, they, they could love to each other, don't they? So you can. Oh, walrus? You could just chill out with the walrus. This sounds different. I'm a star walrus. Yeah. Cutting over to get inside. I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Oh, cut an open penguin. You could, you could use your nipples <laughs> to cut it open because you'd be so cold. Well, glass cutters. I kind of. <laughs> <laughs> My old point, you know. The thing I'm going to go against is all. I'd probably go heat. What? Heat. Oh, oh, I just. Like, we're warm. getting to the winter and I'm already like, oh, I need a jacket. I love, and I'm like, <laughs> I love the winter because it's like, you can, right, when you're cold, you can warm yourself up. You can, exactly. but not when you're bollock naked I'm, in the Antarctic. I'm just getting used to this winter without the boiler being on, like, so. <laughs> 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 Gas prices. Um, Gas yeah, well, yeah it, it's easy to warm yourself up, but in a scenario where you can't warm yourself up, yeah, no, I like. I, I think it means yeah, you lose so rather die with a tan than freeze. Yeah. So, like you were saying about the penguins, like surely that goes against it because then it you does. can't warm. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, he's just yeah. stood in oh. the middle of a of a nice. There's, more, there's more cute animals well, in this. This, this wasn't area. part of the prerequisite no, of the question. We need so more details. I think it's an absolutely ridiculous question. Yeah, it really is actually, but. I no don't doubt. think any question hasn't been. <laughs> <laughs> Should have seen the ones we had a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> um, but speaking of questions, uh, we have got... Who's next week? Um, hang on. Uh, so we need three questions for them, and we'll take a quick break. Nice. Um, we? No, we're going to do a question. If you, oh, it's live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. I thought you said, I thought you wow. said we're, going, we're going for a break. I was like, what? After, after we get these that. questions. Ah, sorry about that. <laughs> Can I go for a week, please? It's just to be entertaining. It's like putting your hand up. <laughs> <laughs> We're not on Wait, I've got a question anyway. Go on. Right. So are you, you're ready. I'm ready. Right. I've got my head in my hands because yeah, yeah, yeah. you said no, this no, is it's pretty normal this one. But you probably have to read Conor Fruger because it's like it's gonna be spaghetti like. But uh right, the next band. You've got to kick one person out of your current band and you've got to replace them with someone with some musician that's alive today. Which member of, the, of your current band are you gonna kick out for that musician? I like that it, actually. Is it like a local musician or just any musician? Any, any. Uh, musician that's alive. That's a nice. Qu- that's a really good question, actually, like because then you can find out who See? who the band hits the See? most. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. We try to recruit more members for our band. Yeah, we yeah, just so kicked so out. Right. Right. <laughs> this is how our band works. We just uh, we're like the Borg. Yeah. <laughs> just like <laughs> your question was good. Mine's. Do you know how it's like I said, my dad was in the music industry. He's like Alan Sugar, and he kicks one of us out every. <laughs> yeah. I'm the informer. Is that what happened? Number two. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, exactly yeah. what happens. They either they were fired. <laughs> we're we're the last three. <laughs> My one, I'll, the original one that I actually thought of was, outside of your genre, what is uh, a really weird genre that you listen to? Like, literally the weirdest thing. I'm not talking like... like I, getting, oh, I like a little bit things. of pop music. Yeah, yeah, yeah not like that. I'm talking about like, I need a specific uh, kind of weird... You're thinking like Mongolian folk music yeah, kind yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah, but I need an artist the as well. Because like, yeah. you've got to prove that you listen, listen to yeah. them. Do you listen to Rave? Do you listen to Rave? <laughs> Who do you prefer, MC Yes or MC Tazo? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you prefer? MC, MC Tazo. Would you um, rather go to the new monkey or would you vote? <laughs> I, can't, I, I honestly can't think. Jack, give me your second one. I've just said my second one. If you could write a song with any band, who would you be? Oh, I've just got really tame ones now. Ooh, I like that one. You could write a song with any band. No, I do actually, because. Because you, you got you got to, there's, there's a few layers to that one because you've got to think what what songs do you think would match my kind of songwriting and then who could you like nick the music off Spice to take Girls. Kind of Spice yeah, Girls. Yeah, I really yeah. love how you're thinking that way, like really deep thinkers. And Scott has literally just came up with this on on yeah. spot. Right? Well, that's sometimes I've the got best. two brain cells and they're both fighting for third place at the minute. Well, uh, we'll take a quick break. Um, oh, hang, on, hang, on, hang, on, hang on, hang on. You can go for your week. Thank you. And uh, we've got a little oh, section in the third I, part. I just dribbled. Out, <laughs> if you want to leave now, oh, we'll, just we'll finish this part. Sorry, I thought <laughs> I thought <laughs> maybe I'll get my dad in. You're going to be Sorry, quiet. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go for a quick break. We'll see. Um, we'll see you guys soon. But when we get back, we'll be on our section where we find out if James can fix it. Yes. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> oh, <baby son. laughs> right, okay. Welcome back to side three. So I did it there. Beat you, Lewis. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Welcome back to side three. I think we've got to <laughs> just ask James, haven't we? Don't know, to, um, James will fix it. Um, I haven't even looked at it. Wait, to be fair, like, 
<laughs> original <laughs> title. Yeah. That. <laughs> Someone's there. Someone, someone's yeah. there. <laughs> I think you need to come up with a different name. James will fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do we get medals? Maybe we could call it. Maybe we could upgrade it to Can James Fix It? Oh, hang on. Okay, here's one. It just this is um, so basically what I do is I go on Reddit, um, the cesspit, cesspit that it is, and people put the music dilemmas and ask for advice and stuff, and I, I see if we can fix it for them to solve the problems. Nice. Mm. Um, the wrong place. I'm part yeah. of PC, it's mo- you know, mostly it's r slash musicians, but I found one on um, r slash music marketing. It's by user la seven eight nine six, and he says zero views. Getting no views on my music cover TikToks. Does anyone have any advice to get more views, engagement, and follows on social media for singers who sing cover songs? Easy. Be better. Here's a TikTok. Be better. Here's a TikTok, man. Um, what, what would you do? What's your TikTok game? Be better. Basically, it's, it, it's all about like find it. So the find the most controversial thing at the moment. And use the same hashtags. Hashtag Chippendale Party. You'll get like so many views. There's a guy called Fic- Daniel Larson yeah. who is insane. And like he gets arrested on the daily. He uses that hashtag Chippendale dancer every day. Ha- Chippendale party. Oh, yeah, that. I think I okay. think you've got to kind of like sell your soul and just kind of like go with the flow. What everyone else is. It's, yeah. the, look the, it's the look of the draw with TikTok. Like, like yeah. Yeah. I had a horrible answer before, but uh, as an actual more structured answer, you need it really. I think with TikTok, what we were looking at really from the social side is is live streams. Like you've got to try yeah. and get on some kind of live stream. Yeah, Hashtags but you've got to, is what the thing is you've got to have a thousand followers to go live. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Like a bit more. And if you're not getting views, you ain't got a thousand followers. But like, <laughs> again, so the thing like, is, like you don't like you don't you, like you don't want to get like you don't want to like aim to get famous like on TikTok. You want to like all these Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. You want to use them as like fishing nets to bring the bring it into the like the bands are selling piece. Yeah, like the, like the, music, the brand, the bands, isn't it? The sell. Yeah. And all these are like trying to like just bring like attention just in. It's the advertisement, isn't it? That's, yeah. that's basically what TikTok think, is. Yeah, also, so go on the song that you're covering and comment on it, just saying, oh, you, check out my recent video. The, Sometimes people will just click on your profile and look at it. Um, and they'll click on it. If, they, if they're not. TikTok's quite like. It comes from the Vine era as well. If you're not interested within the first six seconds, you've lost. If you yeah. put it on, you can put on the song that you're covering and mute it, and then it'll put it in more audiences. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. So yeah. that's, yeah. that's a big one. It. Another one you can do, which we were told from our media management, was you can take the most trending song at the minute and put it on your post and mute it. So whatever the most oh, so trending song in the world and that, is, the at algorithm the moment, and the algorithm yeah. will trick it into thinking one that you're time. using that song. Ah. So we do that. Too. We've just released one more time. Yeah, I put a I put a video up of our drummer muted the song, and it's 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 got quite a bit of like traction at the minute compared to our other. Yeah, videos. yeah, that it's was cool. It honestly, works like yeah. it's a really little sly thing you can do, and then obviously if you've got your original audio underneath, it's absolutely happy days. Like, yeah, uh, so I mean uh, the thing with TikTok as well, you've got to try and like try and act. You've got to try and act yourself as you would with your friends on TikTok. So you don't want yeah. to come across as like, as like businessy. Yeah, that's it. It's, you try yeah. and act yourself and then like, that's a selling point. We really kind yeah. of came into this yeah. like social thing in the past year where we've really kind of stopped and studied it and I, our Instagram I mean, we're, we're, has grown we're really. Still, we're still not great on social. Yeah, we're not. But yeah, I think bro. if you look at a lot of other artists, this is where I'm, I think a lot of other local artists have nowhere near the amount that we've got on Instagram, which yeah. I think is, it's not a brag, but like it's when we've got like 2,000 followers it's good. on Instagram. That's, that's good, like, yeah. We look at other bands that are like around our level and they're not even on like 500. So it's what we've kind of done the research into to try and put yeah. the content, to target the content out there. So that comes from hashtags, tricking the algorithm to do things every day. So like now we're doing a story, a post every day it could be something that's just a throwaway, but it will it will gain that traction. And we yeah. will, we do see like, it is, uh, it's, it's like seen, 10, isn't it? yeah. 10, 15 followers a day that we're on. It's oh, consistency, so, like yeah. so you, you don't want to have big spells where you have like weeks and don't post because you just lose all your traction. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you're just posting something every couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. The algorithm is keep a it up. big thing that on Instagram is a massive yeah. thing. And knowing how to manipulate that to what you want and what your product is 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 a massive part of that. And that is not necessarily driving like targeted content. Yeah. It's just it's driving content that gains traction to like a wider audience. I think that's more of a thing so if you for instance if you are 
constantly, 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 constantly like posting like if we're pop punk and constantly posting pop punk, it kind of narrows the algorithm a little bit. Yeah. Whereas you need to be a bit more broader with your kind yeah. of reach, yeah. and then a lot of people fall into that it's, kind of basket. There's a there's a there's a guy to follow. I followed her quite a while ago. He does all his stuff for free. And I just totally forgot what Damien Kay. Damien Kay, sorry. Damien I follow, I follow him. him. He's, he's very, very good. good. He's excellent. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. If, yeah. You, if you follow his stuff, it's idiot proof. Yeah. Uh, we did it with, <coughs> well, a lot of our old releases. Like when we did a release with them. Yeah, when we released mm-hmm. our songs. So, like, our first couple of songs, we just kind of slung them out there and they didn't do that well. And then we're like, well, what happened? And then we saw, we found the Damien Keys thing and a lot of other research that we did when we when we released Interrupted. Was it in June we released Interrupted? Around July? Then, yeah, June, July. Um, when we released that, we literally said, right, we're going to follow this idiot's guide. We're going to do all the content that he says to do and see what happens. Yeah. And because of that, it was double. I mean, like, yeah, I'm talking worked, out yeah. of the gate without even any playlists. It was double. Yeah. What we, it, what it literally has a YouTube like every year um, video of like 2023 of what to do. So he goes through. He goes so he through, finds. Like, so it's always constant, isn't it? Yeah. So it's yeah. like so it's because it, it it's changing so quickly. Of course. Yeah. But what yeah, we've, so it's, yeah, yeah. What we found is we've just signed to like a management kind of thing, uh, LMS UK, yeah. and we've got like our own personal like media advisor who helps us with our social media to gain us traction and get us bigger shows and does all our kind of stuff for us behind the scenes and she's like she tells us exactly what's happening yeah and like her her finger is on the pulse of like you want to do it you need you more towards this you need to stop doing this you need to uh, do cool. x y and z that's and it's like cool. it is really really helping us like i've you seen need, you need to be resilient process. though like you cannot just keep like you kind of give up after like you just need to keep yeah you, when you, you when you, obviously in the music man you get down all the time you're like oh man this is not doing well it's not doing great but you've got to just try and like just keep going yeah, yeah. The, the minute you give up like you just lose all the traffic yeah especially on socials like we were yeah. saying that algorithm as soon as you stop even i think that i think our advice just advisor she said like if you don't post a week or even like two days where you don't do a story and you've continuously done them and then all of a sudden you stop, like that's it. You're gonna start yeah. from square one again. You could post anything, you could be like, how's everyone doing it? Do? Yeah. Just a question. Yeah. That's what no, we were thinking, because we were like, oh, when we when we first saw it, she's like, oh, she's written out this beautiful plan for us. And we're like, how are we gonna do this? Like, what are we gonna put out there? And she's like, it doesn't matter. Like, it does yeah. matter, but it, it in the grand scheme it's, of things, it doesn't. As long as it's something, as out, as there. It's something yeah. out there, and interaction's a massive thing as well. So if, it, if it's something interactive that your fans can click on, like, brilliant. Yeah. So, like, how's everyone doing today? Look what I'm doing. Like, and then putting a poll or something, getting people to vote. Oh. Even if 10 or 15 vote, it's always going to grow, and it's always going to snowball. So it's always having that constant interaction. As well as it's not just the stories, it's like, Going on to other similar bands, liking posts, commenting, yeah. and that's how you grow. And that's yeah. how you grow on Instagram. And we've put, of that. and we've put a lot of time and effort in, in doing that. Yeah. And I think so there's it like has we've got like short. interaction days where we, we don't post anything. We may do a story, but then we're, the whole day is like just for like comment on other bands, just comment on other oh, people's that's, that's something that a lot of people miss out on actually you know? actually commenting on. Yeah. Because if you if you comment on the band, they'll remember that next time that when you yeah. post something like, oh, they're commenting on my stuff. Yeah. Like, I'll comment. Like, there is a lot of, things. and we've seen that where like weirdly where we've commented on bands and then they've messaged us and yeah. it is yeah. literally like that it's like oh we've just made a connection that we didn't make before yeah and just like, from a simple yeah and yeah. i think building yeah. like that on that kind of online relationship with other acts is massive like we kind of built one with beauty school beforehand this band called leeds from uh, in leeds called beauty school they signed to slam dunk records and we kind of like talk to them back and forth on Instagram, just kind of liking each other's posts. And then like they play in, they played like the festival and they knew who we were. And like yeah. we were like, one of the only ones they stayed and watched our set for. So like it's, it is yeah. building those, those online relationship, relationships and getting them into your actual real world. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah, would say if, if you, to answer their question on Reddit. Don't uh, give up. Don't give up and really do a bit more research into what I'll just the market inside. Yeah, your market inside. Because yeah, that yeah, is a yeah. lot because bands do not think about it. Try, like, like, try and interact with other bands in the area. Because that's massive. I'm, like, we're going like, to have to try and stick together in the North East because we're, we're all the way out the way kind of thing. Yeah, that's it, I. And because like, it's someone doing covers as well and not actual like yeah. original music. 
I would say the main thing we can do is try and because you're not too bothered about pushing your own music make something that also appeals to the TikTok community and not mm. just the music community do challenges every now and again like do you remember this throwback and then just like yeah. you'll get people doing things where it's like there'll be a banner above the video and they're going yeah, yeah. Scott's like those those TikTok are like massive like videos yeah. like yeah. there's one guy who like he'll get two songs that just sound the same and he sits down with his laptop and he goes like this and then that song plays and then he goes yeah, and, absolutely and then and like his videos get like millions of views yeah. and it's just because you're like oh yeah that song does sound similar but yeah, yeah. I think yeah it's massive and like do challenges make yeah. a cringy video I say yeah. Scott is I in charge of our yeah. yeah. don't take yourself too seriously that yeah. is a massive one as well yeah so after we've just right. explained the whole business yeah. proposal huh? don't take yourself too seriously yeah. <laughs> well no it's just important yeah, it's, it's, but I, I reckon um, I reckon we've fixed that uh, can James fix it Yes, I think can. I think I think we did. Well, yeah. nine banks are fixing. Yeah, nine <laughs> banks. Are fixing, but uh, <laughs> we're featuring. <laughs> yeah, what we're featuring X. Told. It's like just, the new thing. just told our whole content plan of the world that we shouldn't have. Oh, so I'll there you go. The camera. <laughs> At LA seven nine seven eight nine six. There you go. Your problem is fixed. Yeah. Enjoy those hundred thousand views from yeah. now on. I mean, if we got a hundred thousand views, can give we us a message if you want. Yeah. You know, you know, give yeah. us a message. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, have you got any songs and shows coming out? Anything that we should be putting in with diaries? Well, I think for the for the rest of the year, we've been more we've been uh, wanting to work on like recording and stuff and demos. Yeah. So we've kind of eased off the shows a little bit, and um, we have got two shows coming up. Yeah. Uh, the 11th of November if I'm if off the top of my head two are independent actually yeah so we've got one on the 11th which was supposed to be with Know You but I'm not sure if they're there they're, anymore they're not, they're not uh, there now hmm. but, um, but we are we are doing uh, a show on the uh, independent on the 17th or the 11th and that's it's uh, called M- Meltdown it's uh, Ben Richardson's new uh, alternative like, yeah. rock night yeah. oh okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so we're, we're like alternative we're, music you're yeah. depressed you're in your mid 30s so we're opening up for you. <laughs> yeah, we're, Come we're down. doing that and opening so up the night. And I mean, it's, it's meant to be for like all ages, like any, yeah. any, type, any alternative music. Any, yeah. You know what I mean? So we've got that and we're going to do, I think, it. we're going to do our normal set, which is like a lot of our fans, a lot of people in Sunderland when they come see us and know, but we're also going to chuck in a couple of like uh, old I think, school. Yeah. I, mean, I think it's a really good thing because you don't have that many places in Sunderland to like, yeah. to like go yeah. like alternative community kind exactly. of thing exactly I think like yeah, so. what I was thinking was is like we've really kicked off like when we've done gigs I've seen people that I haven't seen in a long time turn up to our gigs because we are one of one of the alternative bands in Sunderland yeah. like, like there's not I, not I don't know if there is any other well not, there might be one or two pop up bands but like wait, it's the, not in like, Sunderland like, like not in Sunderland yeah so mm-hmm. like Hit, we're there and we are trying to get all these people that we used to go to Passion with in, on a Thursday night yeah. we're getting them to come down to our gigs and, and do that like last year at Christmas last year when mm-hmm. we did when we played in yeah, last year our Christmas show always goes down well yeah we, that's we're kind of doing Ben's one this year instead of we usually do like an annual Nine Bands yeah. Christmas show and it's been a really weird one because the first time we played it we probably had 15 people there with our friends yeah and then the next time we played it we had like 60 odd people there and we were like we don't know a lot of these people and they've just no. came because it, like, like yeah, alternative like, music you would agree with, with me as well I mean I, was, I would say I was, like, our live performances and shows are so much better than our actual oh, Spotify oh massively tunes like yeah. songs yeah it's the best way though isn't it you'd yeah. rather someone be like oh I like them but now I've also got it I, I like them live we've better. definitely become yeah. it's better than listening to them like exactly man yeah. oh they were not good with it kind of thing yeah. Yeah. but those are our upcoming shows at the moment yeah 4th of uh, fourth of November oh, we are supporting November, Titan Fighting and uh, oh, it was supposed awesome. to be No You but uh, to be confirmed and then we have the 17th of the 11th um, Rock we are, Night yeah Rock Night at yeah. Independent we are playing alongside Tear Jerker another band from Sunderland really yeah, good yeah. Um, we did that last so yeah. year Tear Jerker come on down because it's going to yeah. be mint and you'll definitely hear things like I'm not so okay, okay. I was like, like, like true, wasn't it we've done Halloween short vote yeah. yeah I'll get a guide yeah. Yeah. We'll do every Monday yeah. but like we just so I say I think I said it before like music wise we've ju- we released our latest single Interrupted in July time and that's been 
we've had quite a really good response from that. Yeah. Um, like, so check that out. Shameless plug on. Uh, yeah, check check it, out. it out on Spotify if you would. Uh, and we've just finished in the studio recording drums, the drum parts for our next song, uh, What Daisy Did. So it it'll come good. out when it comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, 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 keep your eye out. Yeah, yeah, would would you always make these promises and it's like six months after? No, yeah, no, yeah. Cal always makes the promises. <laughs> I know how long it takes. So, it. since we were talking about um, like connections and stuff, could you give us one local artist to shout out that people should go follow right now? Um, I think from alternative wise, Maybe not from Sunderland, but they're from Tyneside, um, from South Shields. That's all right. Um, Kid Punk are another. Cool. Um, cool. They yeah. they're doing really well for themselves. A couple, uh, couple of young lads. They come and support us quite often. Yeah, they go and support them. Fat, like yeah. big fat big. Yeah, big fat big are, are really yeah. really good. I, I like watching that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a, no, it's uh, well, it's, it's Robin. We should just been an hour. Trying to think what's uh, picnic. one I like so, as well. Um, Fail fe- to ignite. Yeah. Feel yeah, Ignite. Feel oh, Ignite. Yeah, because yeah, like. He's playing at the bunker oh, house, man. Yeah, he's yeah, playing yeah. the. Yeah, we're doing a bunker house. Just a bit. That's people have already been. It's been and gone. Because I'll be advertising the sixth by the yeah. like, time this is out. Oh, yeah. Dude, how was that oh, gig, yeah. Mr. Support Slot? Honestly, it was, yeah. it was really good. Uh, <laughs> Feel to Ignite, oh, he's, he's sick. He does everything by himself as well on yeah. stage. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's pieces hard. everything together. We it's insane. Yeah, he's brilliant. Yeah, he's really good. He's so good, man. The first time the first time I met him was in Middlesbrough. I thought it was a snooker player. Yeah. He looked mine and seen that. Yeah. Um, Maybe you will, I don't know. <laughs> and then finally, just to kind of grow your your socials, um, what's your ins- like Instagram tags and stuff like that? How can people find you guys? Pretty simple. At Nine Banks. Yeah, at Nine, nine Banks. banks. Easy. Well, that's a good no, thing. Like, not numerical. The word N I N E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, one that, word, that, Nine Banks. Should be near. Should be known. Yeah, like Nine Banks. I say yeah. that's a good thing about having quite a unique name. Like you can just have you it. You can have it everything yeah. as our brand, which is, which works really yeah. well. Was for it, social media. Yeah. the first name to come up was Matchsticks? But when I t- typed in on Google, it was just there was YouTube videos of people burning Matchsticks. Yeah, it's oh, that thing is like yeah. it sounds like a cool name, but yeah. like in this in this <laughs> modern yeah. world, it's just like yeah, Google. You have to just type in Matchstick Band. Band. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's it. But yes, at Nine Banks, follow us on on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all our socials on Instagram. If you go on, are all do you use the new Instagram kind of like Twitter thing? We've never used that. Yeah. We have got no, no, like the insurance got on threads, like yeah, no. threads, no. threads. It's no, like the I, new. We don't use it. I don't. I, I've used That's it a little bit, many. but don't. yeah, yeah I know. It's, uh, Follow us on OnlyFans at Nine Wanks. <laughs> nine <laughs> Wanks. Wow. Um, <laughs> I like that. Wow. Hey, final question. So thank you very much for going on, guys. Um, right. Thank you for the having us. Fourth part is where we get a little pub table session, acoustic cool. song. Uh, what are you going to play for us? Uh, I think we're gonna- I think we're going to play our newest song that we've just released, Interrupted. Cool. Uh, so it is, it is really meant for two guitarists, but seeing as our other guitarist is at work and he can't plan stuff very well. God damn, what Callum. Do. Now, careful what you say, because we've had a band break up because of this before. Callum, Callum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Callum is, he's a local legend. Callum, I've toured America. Yeah. Callum, I've toured America three times. Callum. That's it, be nice. Nah, Callum would never leave. He'll just give us, a, <laughs> he'll just give us six, six three-minute voicemails going, nah, nah, it's all so bad. Yeah. <laughs> he literally right, sent out ten voice me- messages at a go. I'm like, oh. I can't check my phone at work, so I check it afterwards, and I legitimately 300 voice notes from just yeah, back and forth. Lad. I know the type. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming on, guys. Thank you um, if you're new to this podcast, uh, follow us. We are at is, Off the Stage UK on everything, at Off the Stage 2 on X. Uh, new episodes every Tuesday, new gig guide every Monday, and we'll see you for part four for a little acoustic tune. Thank you very much, guys. It's been a great chat. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Been really good. Uh, see you on the next bit. Oh, see you later. See you.
catch a spark We're interrupted Every time we try and talk We're interrupted We're trying to catch a spark We're interrupted We're sitting in the dark And we know We're trying to catch a spark We're interrupted Every time we try and talk Thank you. Thank you.